I am immensely disappointed in humans chasing after God, or ancient aliens, or the curator of a simulation, trying to find them, asking them to explain our purpose for us, wanting these precursors to lay out their roadmap for our future, to approve our choices, just a nod or a wink, a sign that we are making the right decisions to give our lives meaning. They may even exist. There may have been intelligent interference in our development, but this is ultimately irrelevant. By all means look, but don't expect to find, for they would control our perceptions. By all means ask, but don't expect to get answers. Not because their minds are too vast, reasons too complex, but simply because they gain nothing from sharing, and you would gain nothing from the truth. In fact, this truth may destroy you. Being an adult is a burden. Independence is a burden. Sentience is a burden. Being cast out from the garden of ignorance, needing to survive in the desert of consciousness, lost in the forest of responsibility, makes one homesick, craving a mother's cooking and a father's guidance. This, ever looking back over one shoulder, living for the past, by all means, don't forget the road travelled, see the mistakes made in the past, avoid them in the future, but do not turn around. The road back may be familiar, the comforts known, but the experiences will never be as sweet as the first taste. You will miss out on the new challenges, which to conquer and savour. Turning back makes for a half-life. If we were created, or planted like seeds, or cultivated from wild stock, it was not for our benefit, but for theirs. Them. They. Would be a crop for which effort must be expended to sow, so a rich harvest is expected to reap. And what value do we have to offer to such great and powerful beings but our novelty? But what of love, you cry? Surely such advanced and enlightened beings, entities of infinity, would be motivated by love. Unconditional love. To this I reply, have you ever seen unconditional love? Seen it in the real world? A lover, perhaps, a soulmate, who loves you despite making no effort, you showing no value, not lusting after your wealth, waiting on past promise or future potential. Show me such a lover. A dog, perhaps, unconditioned by abuse, not needing to be fed at your hand, not seeing you as his best chance at survival. Such a dog is his own dog. Or the parent who gives freely, seeing to your needs, supplies you like the parasite you were, perhaps still are. You are their genetic legacy, a biological imperative. They provide for you because you are the continuation of them, narcissism at its finest. There is no such natural love. Why would you consider it a given, deem it essential in an unknowable entity or cooperative? Wishful thinking at its very worst. Life is a series of transactions. We interact with each other to get what we cannot acquire on our own. Male and female mate to produce offspring. Dogs domesticate themselves because we can provide more for them than they can find on their own. The gods people seek need something from us, despite their seeming omnipotence. That they cannot acquire on their own. Perhaps aliens, fearful of entropy, having exhausted all creativity, Brought our kind and countless others into existence in hopes our unique circumstances will find a solution hidden to them. In such a case, there was no sense in us walking down their road. Not for them as it defeats the purpose of making us and not for us as it will lead us to a dead end. If it is a god that made us immortal, all-powerful but lonely, a Boltzmann brain alone with its imagination, it may create love, affirmation, community, but it would desire this approval from others, not slaves, fearful of the consequences of withholding, not puppet, who would need to be micromanaged, and not mind clones, who love God because they are God. Such a God would desire our uniqueness, our independence, so that if we do choose to give our affections, they will have value. So don't go chasing God or whoever, don't cry beating on the door to heaven. 
the gate of the garden, your old family home, begging to be let in. Walk your own path, and maybe, without knowing it, you will meet God, or an alien in your forward travels.